What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. Going to take a look at the Jacksonville Jaguars at the New England Patriots championship game here. I tell you, you know, is it strange that we're so impressed with the way the Jaguars won this game? At least I am. I mean, Leonard Fournette comes back from being hurt, plays lights out. Blake Bortles didn't panic, especially with like five minutes to go in the fourth quarter where it's kind of a, a ball control time. He had some third downs. He made smart plays. Didn't put up the most gouty numbers, but he made smart plays. And honestly, any team that plays like that can beat the New England Patriots. Now, I personally don't see the Patriots falling to the Jaguars, but I was impressed with their performance so much to the point that we almost overlook how great the New England Patriots are. I mean, we just get accustomed to it, don't we? We just get accustomed to the boring Tom Brady playoff game where they run rough shot through their opponent, they score at will, they stop the offense every chance they get, they play ball control just as well, and they end the game. It's almost like anticlimactic to watch because you know what's going to happen. In this game, though, you know, I don't ever see a time where the Patriots aren't going to perform well at home. I just don't. That's where they thrive. That's what they need in a sense. Taking a look at this breakdown here, the fast simulation. A lot of people have commented, you know, pretty good amount of these have turned into blowouts, turned into routes, and this one takes shape very similarly. It's going to show the Jacksonville Jaguars never relinquishing control of this game. They fend off a little bit of a comeback here, but it's too much, and they're going to pull a 40-point win out in New England. Taking a look at the stats, I just don't see Tom Brady in a playoff game under 300 yards, two DDs, two interceptions. I love the rushing here. Chris Ivory hasn't been active all year, pretty much, for the Jaguars. But he gets basically a third of the carries. And then, obviously, Tom Brady, five rushing attempts. That's not Tom Brady. Take a look at the reception. Good mix. Gronkowski doesn't come up real big, as we saw in the other games. Cooks does. Love to know what you guys think about this, though. I just don't see it. I'd love to see it happen, but I don't see it happen. Appreciate you watching it. Back in the week with more commentary.